Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Today you find me in Abbey Park. It's two o'clock on a Saturday afternoon and I guess you're asking why I'm here. So, I'm gonna go and tell you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it would appear that Glastonbury now has what's colloquially called a baseball stroke netball court. Basketball. Basketball, beg your pardon. Did I say baseball? Basketball, just being corrected. My American friends will want to have a word. Baseball pitch is coming soon. Ah, the baseball pitch is coming soon. Watch this place. And even then we might even have a gridiron after that. So, for those of you who play baseball, no, for those of you who play basketball, it's a full-size court and it's also a netball court. I believe it's marked out for netball as well. I know nothing about these things, so your guess is as good as mine. But we have the local dignitaries over there, one of whom is the town mayor. Oh, look, Scarlett's going to show us how to put one in the net. Go on, Scarlett. Go on, girlie, you can do this. Yay, got it on camera. Well, John, Mr. Mayor person, uh, we seem to be meeting for all sorts of occasions these well, days. We, we this keep one, you busy, don't we? This one is a baseball ball, a basketball. <laughs> this one is a basketball court. Yeah. It's, it's early the, in the day the for clue, me. The clue is in the basket. So, here we are at Glastonbury's new basketball stroke netball court. Hey, that's great. Babe. As mayor, can you tell us what the difference is? Well, the difference is one is played in an American style basketball court and that's laid out and the other one is played in a kind of more UKish kind of netball court and that's laid out. Uh-huh. So but the, the markings big are difference, similar. The markings are similar, but the big difference is uh -huh. that you can play netball yeah. using a basketball hoop, yep. but you cannot play basketball using a netball hoop. So we've got sizes. Yeah, so we've got basketball hoops with the back plate so you can play netball and basketball on it so that's the bit of education that we had as a council and also we've got the height right it's 10 foot tall so it's all all good and the, you know the young people are happy do you remember Gabe a few years ago when we renovated the long and sadly uh, neglected tennis court oh, stand at the yes, tall ledger. Yes, I do, yes. And before we did that, I went out and I did some consultation with young people. Mm. And uh, We have they, young people in town. We, 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 do. we do. We do, we do. Well, everyone's younger than me. And John's right? even spoken to them on occasion. I know. <laughs> and the big thing, that, which surprised me, because yeah. I thought everybody was into football and all that sort of stuff, but then I'm old, you know. Yeah, we all was are, it, yeah. it, Basketball and netball were big in the town because, of course, St Dunstan's does it. And yes. so all the kids are learning it up there. But there's nowhere to play it out no on the street. So what we did is we, we when we did the renovations there, we marked it up for uh, uh, basketball. And then we were having a conversation about what can we do to improve this park here, Abbey Park. Mm. And, of course, there was this one hoop here originally, and it wasn't the right height and everything. So after a bit of more consultation, the kids are going, where are the hoops? Well, here they are, Gabe, and mm. we're going to get hoops down at the tour ledger as well. So we're going to have yes. two different courts here. Glastonbury might have its own netball team and baseball, basketball team. Yes, uh, and uh, baseball, baseball. We had a baseball well. team. I don't know where that came from. I tell you what, we're, we're, if they ever do open the baseball uh, thing here, I'm screwed <laughs> because I'll be calling it a basketball pitch. I know I will. <laughs> well, you know. Oh dear. Jeff, well, the, I apologise, mate. I really do apologise, Jeff. What, what, what it displays is, of course, Gabriel is, of course, very much an English man you see so he, he can't get confused with these foreign games but yeah, yeah the baseball the basketball and the netball no, so got ball. and the football and the football i don't do football that's why i get confused <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so and you're right gabe it feels like a lot's happening at the moment you know mm. we're really getting on top of doing stuff for the community mm. i know that some people accuse it of being john cousins vanity projects but it's not it's for the young people i don't even play basketball so mm. there you go. Mm. Well, I'm going to ask you to put one in the net in a minute because Scarlett, bless her, Scarlett, who works in the office in the council, just walked up and put one in first time. She, she's very good at she's all this. She's very good stuff. at all this. So, so John, yeah, what time? Where, where's the where's ball? Where's the ball? Ball, can we have a ball for the mayor, please? Ball for the mayor. Right, John will now show us how to play this game. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Walk up. Yay! That, ladies and gentlemen, is why John Cousins is mayor, because he can play basketball. And I got it right that time, it's basketball. 
So we've had a few people turn up to see us all today. All come out, we've got the local presser here. And up comes someone who knows what they're doing. In the net, that's how you do it. Never even touch the safe. So when we set up the Glastonbury basketball team, these were our first players, Alligan. Oh yes. We've got some, we've got we, some we, ones as well. Yeah, we? yes. We, we've got, we've got oh. many people, many people who are going to play the old uh, basketball there. I think we should put together an old gitch team. I'm up for it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you up yeah. for it? Oh, well, you know. Right, Glastonbury, if you're interested in forming an old gitch basketball team to come down here and play basketball, there is a defibrillator available, and, and first day will be made available on site. Why yeah. not come down? Yeah, uh, we can have a rest every two or three minutes. You absolutely, know, we'll have teas. Cup of tea. and absolutely. We've got the benches, you see, for, benches for us to sit on. Sit. Yeah, we should yeah. do this. We should definitely yeah, do definitely. this. Oh, they're all at it now, look. Oh. oh! Side shot, in it goes! Shot! Nicely done! So have you guys played this at school? Do you play basketball at school? No. You don't? Hmm? You don't play basketball at school? Oh, you do? You do, that's right. Have you guys played netball? No, I used to be goal attack when I played netball. As we're here, I'd just like to say a few words before we do the grand cheer for the opening. Uh, it's, this process started a few years ago when the mayoress, Sue Barnett, was the chair of the Young People's Committee, the Youth Committee on the Town Council. And we were looking at what we might do here in the wonderful Abbey Park to improve it. We consulted with young people, and one of the things that surprised us all was how much everybody loves basketball, of course. And we only had one basketball hoop in here, standing over here, wasn't it? And uh, it wasn't quite right, and the pitch was too small. And so, after a bit more consultation, we decided this is what we want to do. And so, Sue handed over the, the baton to my councillor, Michael White, who is now the chair of the youth committee. So I'm going to ask Michael to say a few words before we do the big cheer to open this. Local government, bureaucracy takes ages. So we had to figure out what we wanted, design something, put it out for tender, review all the quotes and then decide. And then it was like, when can you do? And they said, we can start mid-January and here we are. So they did it in about two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so it was actually quite amazing. So um, yeah, big thanks, of course, to Scarlett and to Sarah Marks and any of the others who did, uh, uh, did like, where do you buy the hoop from? Morrison's had run out, you know? I'm They're joking, of course. <laughs> oh, the are available. Yeah, 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 but even they didn't know. So anyway, these things don't come easy, so you have to do a lot of background research. And then um, Zoe here is the uh, Deputy Chair of Youth Committee as well. So we've just delivered this. Just to prove that we can't keep everybody happy, someone complained, why are you giving them two hoops? So there was only one. Well, that's not very fair, but we said, how are you going to play a game with just one hoop? But we just can't please everybody. But I'm really, really pleased. Do you want to tell anything? I just wanted to say that this has been a long time in the making and we are just so pleased that we finally got this in place for the young people. And just to say, it's not just for basketball, it's also for netball. We specifically had it designed so that it could be used for both. Okay, so now so, we're going to do... So can I just oh, Sue, so, yes. Because there are people, other people we should thank because when I was chair we had a wonderful co committee of councillors, of people from the Chamber of Commerce uh, and young people and parents of children who knew a lot about play areas and I would like to thank them because it was all during Covid and they persisted and they were great and put forward a lot of good ideas so thank you. So now I'm going to count down from five. You can count down with me. And when we get to one, zero, we'll do a big cheer. Can you do a big cheer? Let's hear. Yay! Can you do a big cheer? Let's hear. Yeah. Yeah. Can you do a big cheer? Yeah. Right, so we're from five, right? So we'll count down together. Five, four, three, 
two, one. Yeah! The basketball court is open. The netball court is open. Yay! Go play! So, now we need a photograph. Actually.